<laughs> Lamin Jusu Jaka can't forget the day in 1999 rebels backed by Liberia's former president Charles Taylor broke into his home, dragged him away and cut off his hands. And so he's eager to hear the verdict in Taylor's trial for war crimes expected on Thursday in The Hague. My hands were placed on the root of the mango tree. They chop it off, my left hand first and my right hand first. And then he gave orders, shoot him, finish him. And the other rebels replied to him, let us don't waste our cartridge on this man. He will die on the way. I was bleeding excessively. In fact, I never knew whether I was in this art or whether I was in the next world. Taylor has been on trial since 2007. He's facing charges that include murder, rape and the recruiting of child soldiers. He denies playing any part in Sierra Leone's civil war, a war that lasted 11 years, in which 50,000 people were killed and in which Taylor is accused of backing rebels belonging to the revolutionary United Front. But 10 years after the war ended, for the vast majority of people, the verdict in the Charles Taylor trial will be totally irrelevant to the issues they're facing today, like poverty and unemployment. Charles Taylor is in a, a white man's country and he's going through a trial. Most people will tell you, oh, he's been fed, he has electricity supply, he watches TV and they don't even have access to that. But victims like Lamine do care. He wants Taylor to be found guilty and sentenced to 100 years. His assets should be sold and that particular asset money will be given to the victims who have lost their hands, who have suffered, who have got permanent disability onto the end of their lives. That isn't likely to happen, but for Lamine and the victims like him, the next best thing would be to see Charles Taylor go to prison for the rest of his life. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Freetown, Sierra Leone.